The word carezza comes from an Italian word and essentially it means to caress. There's a massive difference between normal biological S3X and carezza. The goal is different, the experience different, and it can create such depth and intimacy. It can be quite a spiritual experience. In this video, I'm going to share with you the benefits, a little bit of the techniques, and a little bit of the uh, of my own experience with doing Carezza with my wife. And uh, I've actually wrote a blog giving you a whole process that you can follow so that you can do that as well after watching this video. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Nikula Das, and I help men master their S3X energy so you can become a powerhouse both in and outside the bedroom. Go to the links in the description. You can get the blog so that you can practice Kerez and have a routine to follow, as well as you can take the free ejaculation control guide because to practice Kereza, you won't be ejaculating, which if you've never heard the concept of having uh, S3X without ejaculation, you might be like, what? That's crazy but that's why we're going to practice and talk about it. So let's, let's dive into it. Carezza. So what's the difference between Carezza and, um, regular S3X. Regular S3X, or what I'm just going to call everyday S3X, is very lust-based. It's biological. It's all about the orgasm. It's about, uh, you know, uh, getting to that point of ejaculation. In Carezza, the point is not orgasm. The point is union. The point is connection. The point is uh, to, to get intimate, to get deep, to open yourself up, your heart, and, and whole being up to your partner. That's why those who practice Kareza have such great relationships outside the bedroom as well, because you're using this process to connect with each other in much more vulnerable and deep ways. And that can often be very scary, especially for men. Uh, women too, women tend to be a little bit more open. They're kind of used to sharing their feelings, their emotions in that way. But a lot of women have become closed off as well. And if you've noticed in your relationship, there's, you know, you can't really share the community communications off, uh, you feel disconnected, Carezza is a great healing practice for your relationship. I'm going to talk about the benefits on a physical, mental, spiritual, we'll call it, or mystical level. Um, but let's talk a little bit about how it works and how it goes down. So the first thing is there's different positions you can do it in. You can pretty much do Carezza in any position. Um, I find that it's really nice to do it in a where you're seated on a chair and she's straddling you or you're lying down and she's essentially, you know, like riding you position. Now, again, in Carissa, the word means to caress. So I, I really like the position to practice this when she's straddling you. And the reason why is because you're very close to each other and you can start off with simply just caressing each other. There's very little movement. So it's not like she's like, you know, got the cowboy cowgirl thing. Woo, she's riding you. And, you know, it's not like, you know, kind of like prawn based, you know, type of, of, of S3X. It's actually, there's not a lot of movement. Um, the more still you are, and you can get to places of deep stillness while being connected. Now, imagine like a plug, the male goes into the female, and then there's a transfer of energy. Similarly, there's a transfer of energy through uh, through Kerezin. and I'm going to talk about how you can consciously do that and circulate energy through this process. But at the beginning, you could simply just start to caress each other. And what it does is it really starts to open you up. It starts to get you out of your mind, out of the world of fantasy, out of the world of, you know, I'm just going for ejaculation. Lots of eye gazing, um, even words, I love you, I care about you, um, smiling, you know, smiling at each other, really being connected in a deep way. You're getting more and more present. And when you're practicing Kareza, I would recommend that you do it in a place where you feel very comfortable. Uh, you can't rush through this process. So if the kids are going to come in or go, you know, get the kids a babysitter for the night or get a hotel room or whatever, make the place comfortable. You even want to set the environment, maybe put some music on that puts you into a meditative type state. Um, like, 
light some candles, some incense, whatever you're into. Create an environment which you can get uh, really present. So once uh, she's straddling you and you guys are connected, what you can do is just simply start to caress each other. Lots of touching, feeling each other's skin, hugging each other. And as the man really embracing her, like bringing her in, making her feel safe, making her feel comfortable in the process so that she gets relaxed. And then begin to sink your breath. This is a powerful technique in charisma. Breath is the most basic action of life. You know, you come out the womb and the first thing you do is, you know, take a deep breath, right? You know, think about when you're, you know, like you hold your breath for a while and then you, ah. <sighs> So the first thing is by taking deep breaths, you start to oxygenate your body, you start to open up your energy channels, you start to open up your mind. Uh, I heard from one yoga teacher, short breath, short life, long breath, long life. You could put that into the bedroom. Short breath, short bedroom session, long breath, long bedroom sessions. It's one of the first things that I teach when I teach men how to last longer and be better lovers for their partners is stay in control of your breath. And just that alone will have you be a much more powerful, intimate lover. Now, remember the purpose of charisma is not orgasm. It's not to ejaculate. Now, while you can experience non-ejaculatory orgasms for men and women can reach states of orgasm. In fact, it's uh, known that uh, women could reach all types of really cool states through charisma because they're really can feel into the energy. And here's a little kind of side note. It's better to do this. First of all, do this when you're sober. So don't, it's not, you know, oh, we're going to get drunk and do Carreza, or we're going to smoke a bunch of dope, or we're going to eat shrooms, or none of that. Clean. You should be moving away from that stuff anyways, because it's going to just make you a more powerful man. It's going to make you a better husband, father, lover, and overall successful person in life. Carreza also actually helps eliminate vices in our life because it releases the chemical of uh, oxyto uh, oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is like called the love drug, and oxytocin is... Um, uh, is what happens when we're hugging, when you're taking care of an animal, when you're taking care of a child and you feel that immense amounts of love, that's oxytocin in your system. When you're practicing charisma, you feel tons and tons of oxytocin. And that's coming from the pituitary gland as well as the hypo, uh, the hypoglamous, hypoglamous gland. Make sure I pronounce that right. Uh, you could double check the pronunciation. And this is releasing oxytocin, which is actually healing your body body. It's love. It's like, I feel good. Not, I feel lusty. Not, uh, I'm motivated like, like dopamine, right? It's not a quick hit or a quick fix to make, or adrenaline, which is just meant to get you going like fast, you know, like I'm hunting adrenaline, right? We're often addicted to adrenaline and dopamine type feelings, which are more like feeling high. And that's where our, our vices are coming from. This makes us feel content. It makes us feel peaceful. It makes us feel in love. And that's why it's so powerful. It bonds us to our partners when we're practicing this. When you're sinking your breath together, you'll notice that your mind also becomes still in this process. And actually, one of the things that uh, uh, you know uh, I experienced with my wife is you can kind of go soft in her, right? You're like not even necessarily hard because your energy is no longer in your genitals. Your energy is in your heart. You're more paying attention to her and embracing her and loving her as opposed to just like jackhammering her, right? You know, and, and that's the main difference. So you can do a little bit of movement because you'll, you know, stimulate your erection, but ultimately you could notice that, oh, I'm getting a bit soft. And that's why it's some little gentle movement can be there, but ultimately it's the, the still more still you are, the better or very soft movements. It's very slow. It's very intimate. Now, one of the things is in our pornography type culture and, and biological type of S3X is we think, oh, geez, that sounds boring, right? That sounds like, I don't know that I, that's going to be satisfying. 
you don't you won't take my word for it. I mean, the the only way to really know it for yourself. I mean, you could take my word for it, but when you experience it, you'll know for yourself how deeply satisfying this is and how much actually it shifts the way that you approach S3X. And for men who want to practice semen retention and no fap and get the benefits of that practice, uh Carreza is a great way to get yourself off of the need for ejaculation. So you're slow, you're caressing each other, you're gazing into each other's eyes, um, you're being with each other. You don't want to be in a rush. Uh, A real good session of Carez is at least half an hour, if not longer. So you're really spending time together. Where it gets a little bit mystical is you can start to transfer energy, which is really cool. And that's why you want to be clean because the cleaner you are, the cleaner your whole consciousness is. And this can be very powerful for healing. So Carreza is known to have physical healing benefits where, again, you're releasing uh, oxytocin into the system, you're connecting with each other, which is one of the main reasons so many people feel depressed, sad, and get into vices. So this allows you to really start to heal on a hormonal level, which is overall going to heal your body and allow your energy to travel through your body. Women have uh, noticed, um, first of all, stronger pelvic floors, uh, maybe healing in the uterus, um, all kinds of different benefits that we can that you can get into. But overall, as a simple basis, when you're healing your hormones, you're healing your body. From a mental level, it calms the mind. And when your mind is calm, you're opened up to now higher awareness or higher consciousness. Uh, You're turning off fear. You're turning off worry. You're turning off anxiety. And you're allowing yourself to relax into the experience, which is a beautiful experience. Emotionally, it begins to connect us. So again, if you're experiencing disconnection in your marriage and you're trying to talk it out and communicate it out and that's not working... Just stop talking and get into Carreza, and this will connect you in a very deep way. Now, spiritually, it can be extremely powerful as well because there is a potential of transferring of consciousness. When you're connected, so think about, again, a plug going into masculine, going into feminine, and energy then travels. What you can begin to do, and I teach this inside of my S3X Alchemy course, so reach out to me if you're interested in really uh, getting into sacred sacred sexuality, uh, learning to control your own energy at deeper levels or higher levels. What you could begin to do is actually affirm positive things. So one of the things that me and my wife do when we practice Carreza is like, I will put my hand in between like her breasts. So again, this is not lusty. This is not me fondling her and these type of things. This is like me putting my energy center right on her heart space and she'll take her hand and put it on my heart space. And this is just a deep way to connect and feel into each other. And you could even imagine uh, energy flowing out of your hands. In fact, if you put your awareness right into this point here, uh, you could try that right now. If you just stand for a minute or two and put your awareness right into this point and this point, you'll notice that your hands will start to heat up or you'll feel tingling because it's an energy point. So what you do is you put your hand on her heart and you put your awareness right into this point. And you could do mental affirmations. I love you. I'm with you. I protect you. You could even, and this is a bit controversial, especially in conservative religious communities, but it's it works. You can even start to invite God into this scenario where you say, you know, I, I, uh, I invite God to be with us and make it a very deep spiritual experience where you can both connect with God in your consciousness. You can dedicate this entire experience to God and it totally changes it. It's like, I can't really describe it because it's a new experience. Now in this, what in this, in this process, what can happen is lots of energy surges can happen. So you might feel energy uh, even days later, like moving through your body or like, oh my, like kind of surges of energy. What could happen is, and I know this happened with my wife is uh, lots of heat 
right? Lots of all of a sudden heat. And we were practicing Carissa and she's like, okay, I got to actually stop. And she, you know, and she got off and we ended up just spending the rest of the night, no S3X, just talking about the experience and then falling asleep, like cuddling each other. It was really beautiful. And that's what Carissa could do. So she was like overheating. When that happens, or if, if you get to that level, and again, men, I'm going to put the responsibility on you. You got to be clean and in a really good positive state. The more you're positive and you engage in S3X with a woman, you're going to transfer your positive energy and consciousness to her. Okay. She's literally going to pick up that energy. So she started kind of getting really hot and she's like, oh, okay, I got to stop. And she, you know, and, and it's fine as, you know, take your time, blah, 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 whatever you need. And we ended up just connecting on a verbal level after and just talking about the experience. And she was just saying like, oh my goodness, like I've never had that experience before. And the way that she described it, and she's filming this, she's, you know, she's sitting there, I can see her smiling because she, she knows, right? Is that um, what, what she said was, Wow, I've never actually felt that kind of like like union or almost like would you say like disappearing or? I felt like I fell into you. Say, uh, could you say that louder? Maybe we can pick it up. Uh, she's really shy, so she doesn't come on camera. But I felt like I fell into you. So what she said there, if you didn't hear, is I felt like I fell into you. That's tantra. That's kareza. That's sacred sexuality. There was no need for ejaculation on my end uh we didn't reach any kind of like orgasm because it was so satisfying so she's like I, I felt like i fell into you and that's because the man is supposed to create the space where she can totally fall into you and that's what we talk about falling in love falling into union falling into god we practice the, the the day after as well, and and what what's recommended is that you actually practice this consistently for uh for maybe like a few weeks, and then check in with how you feel in your relationship, your health, your well being, and I bet you you're gonna notice a lot of energy. So what happens is when that energy surges come and you feel those energy pulsations coming through the body, it can be very orgasmic, it can be very spiritual, it can be very healing, and. Uh, one of the things that uh, at that point that I really recommend is the deep belly breathing. So really getting conscious of your own breath and relaxing into it. The more that you can relax into the experience, which again, takes you time. Sometimes it takes you just 20 minutes to get into a space where you're actually letting go of, you know, the tension and the, oh, you know, like, okay, I'm going to like, you know, because that's often how we approach life. We're, we're in a state of fear unconsciously all the time. And this yanks us out of it. And then if you really, you know, get into the space where you're inviting God to be part of that experience, you're now really spiritualizing your S3X activity and it changes the whole dynamic. One thing that I, I did with her on the, on the, the, you know, as we practiced uh, after the, that experience of like her falling into me, the next day we practiced again. And uh, one thing that I did, and this is getting, it gets a bit mystical is, so this time the position was different. She, so she wasn't in the position where she felt like she was falling into me. She was like riding me like that position. Um, and we were embracing and holding each other like that. In this position, I was actually like, she was laying flat on her back and uh, like on the couch. And I was inside of her, uh, so she was laying flat on her back, and I was perpen perpendicular. So like missionary, but kind of like up. So you have to be a bit, you know, flexible or strong if, if to do it. But anyways, I put my hand on her heart, and then I put my other hand on her third eye, stimulating the third eye. And what I was doing was fully thinking of God in that experience. And after what she told me was, she's like, oh, I couldn't stop thinking of God, right? And uh, in that experience, so. What that is, is is a union of consciousness. And this actually is happening all the time just by being around somebody who is, whatever we hold in our consciousness, we are subconsciously always communicating. So if you're always thinking of spiritual subjects or very like God, or you're thinking of money, or if you're thinking, that's what's actually being transferred. That's the energy which you're emanating. So by stimulating her third eye and putting my hand on her heart and thinking about God, um, 
you know, she was saying, I have to say, I couldn't stop thinking about God. That's the transfer of consciousness or energy moving from one person to another. And as men, we can give that as a gift, right? Again, I know this is very controversial and very conservative type religious communities, but it is a technique that can be used. Um, ultimately, anybody can reach high spiritual experiences by themselves through mantra, through prayer, through worship, but there's all kinds of techniques. This is a way that partners can practice or invite invite God to be part of their experience, which doesn't just change the dynamic inside the bedroom, it also changes the dynamic outside the bedroom. Um, I think I've touched everything that I want to share in this particular video. Chariz is a wonderful experience for you and your wife or your partner. Um, it's something that you can practice. The more that you do it, actually, the more connected you'll feel. And this is important for our society right now. Our society generally overall is not too interested in God. I mean, lots of people still are, of course. And I think that, uh, I, th I think God is making a return. Like, like people are more interested because, you know, there's tough things going on, right? Recessions and political uh, instability. And what happens is that the beauty of, of, of turbulent times is that people start looking for something to anchor themselves to that's transcendental that's not it's not of this world and Kareza can be a great experience for for husbands and wives to come together or girlfriend and boyfriend or whatever the scenario is to come together and create strong union and when there's a strong relationship the kids really sense that there's a strong family core and when we have a strong family core we have strong communities and with strong communities we have strong nations and with strong nations that are loving and connected we have great health and prosperity and economic prosperity and we reduce uh, wars on the planet and, and unnecessary conflict we spiritualize the planet and right now our planet is uh, very uh, sexualized and so why not invite God to be part of that experience why not invite a spiritual consciousness into that experience and start to experience sacred sexuality which allows us to connect deeply not just physically but mentally emotionally and spiritually so go check out the links below. I, again, I wrote a blog with a specific process that you can use at the beginning. Then after, you're going to let your own intuition and guidance take over. But I know, um, you know it's nice to sometimes have a guideline or have like some specifics that you can do. Helps you stay out of your head and get into the experience. So I've written a blog which you can use. Um, to uh, you know, you can use it. Uh, you can pull it up and uh, and use it as a guide, uh, so that you can have your first Kareza experience or use it as part of your Kareza experience, and uh, and then eventually you can put that aside. You've got the free ejaculation control guide for men who want to be able to learn how to uh, be more intimate, be better lovers, circulate energy, transfer energy between you and your partner. Because once your energy channels are open. You can, and myself and my wife, we did this too, where she was imagining like literally pulling energy uh, from from me, from my penis up into her body and then circulating it. And I was doing the same. I was circulating uh, my energy upward out of the crown into her crown, down and around and where we're connected. So again, we're creating a circuit and then we're flowing that energy through the circuit and uh, it's such a deep, intimate experience. So take advantage of the free trainings and all the resources that I'm putting together on the website for you. And then, of course, if you want to go into higher trainings and work with me directly, send me a message. We'll jump on a call and uh, talk about how I can be of benefit uh, and see if we're a right fit to work together uh, for, your, for your overall life, health, and, uh, and progress. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.